Salted mullet roe is a delicacy with a very long history in Taiwan. Also known in Japan as karasumi, the roe is pressed, salted, and dried in the open air, achieving an unmistakable orange color. But do you know how much painstaking handiwork goes into its creation? Let's find out just what it takes to make the Ping Dong specialty. A fat piece of mullet roe smolders on the grill. Once a luxurious delicacy, mullet roe is now an accessible treat, but it's still to be savored. Not all mullet roe is born equal, however. Producers carefully scrape away any roe or skin that's bulging from the roe pouch, then gently reflatten the surface and wrap it evenly in a sausage skin. Fixing blemishes on the mullet roe is as delicate a job as a skin transplant. If the blemish isn't too bad, we leave it. We fix the worst ones. It's different after we fill up the package. Mullet roe always has some blemishes in its skin, but an unusual appearance can affect sales and value. The worst of all is if gall has got into the roe. That has has to be fixed. We don't want it to be bitter, so we do this, cut it off. If you fill it up when you get it out, people won't say, there are black bits and nasty looking bits. Like this, it looks and tastes great. When the roe is all fixed up, it's dried and the sausage skin gradually goes transparent, sinking into the roe. And just like that, a beautiful spotless delicacy is produced.